Welcome. My name is Jonathan Asher. I am the architect behind the CATIA roles available for the construction cities and territories industry on the 3D Experience platform. Today I'm going to show you the detailed solutions of the role portfolio that are offered on the 3D Experience platform from CATIA on the cloud. It's going to get a little technical and I'm going to talk about multiple roles, various roles, uh, applications, and different functionality that you'll find on CATIA for architects, engineers, fabricators, designers, etc. The motto for CATIA is to shape the world we live in. And for the construction cities and territories industry, this is just as important. The construction cities and territories portfolio is broken up into a number of different roles that span the design and engineering phases across different segments, generally broken down into building and infrastructure. For buildings, we have the 3D Generative Innovator role, which is a new role that was released in 19X. It's full web online. You drag and drop the widget onto a dashboard and you can access it anytime, anywhere on any device. The Concept Building Designer is a role on the rich client that you download and install from the cloud onto your machine. You access the same data model through the same database through all of these apps to maintain full digital continuity across all of your, your roles. The concept building designer includes a number of applications that we'll detail later, but they're for conceptual design, building information modeling, building experience modeling, uh, both architectural and structural elements, along with rendering capabilities. The architectural detail designer takes it a step further to do solid mod modeling for manufacturing. The building structures designer includes the structural, conceptual structural modeling applications, as well as rebar to take your design further into an engineering phase. The 3D MEP designer is there for your systems modeling, mechanical, electrical, or piping systems. Building and civil coordinator is used for uh, coordination of large projects around a 3D model. And then the civil engineer today covers a large range of topics from road and rails, bridges, and tunnels. In a nutshell, we see the architectural detail designer through to the 3D MEP designer here. And now we'll spend a little bit of time on, on each one of these roles discussing the applications that it are included. So the building and civil coordinator is a role that contains a number of applications, but the main highlights are the converter for IFC, the building and civil assemblies application, design review and interference checking and interference finder. What this role is designed to do is to be able to import and manage multiple models from multiple sources on the platform, do clash detection, do design review, uh, manage tasks all on the 3D experience platform. So when you import a model, let's say one model was done in, a, in a, another software that can be imported through an IFC standard format. Let's say the facade is modeled in CATIA. Well, that model can be inserted into the same assembly. The IFC attributes as well as the level of development can be tracked and traced and uh, managed on Inovia. The concept building designer is an, a role that consists also of a number of applications, uh, primary of which Again, is the building and civil assemblies, building space planning, building structures, imagine and shape, live rendering, and natural sketch. Imagine and shape is an application for subdivision surface modeling. Uh, here, you can model free form surfaces quickly uh, to a conceptual level of detail. You can add some parameters to make them parametric, but it's really a fast, free form surface modeling application to do subdivision surfaces. You can do rectangles and squares. You can do toruses, spheres, and oblong shapes. The key is the way you manipulate this geometry. So here you can see I'm grabbing a mesh and, and acting on the geometry through the mesh. I can scale in one dimension, two dimensions, three dimensions. I can grab an edge, I can grab a point, I can grab a face. I can subdivide these surfaces into additional faces, and then I can act on those subfaces, those sub edges, or sub vertices. This example is a building massing where I've made two towers, and, I'm, and now I'm going to quickly model a bridge element that's going to span between the two towers. Building space planning also includes a number of parametric surface modeling commands. Uh, you see here an example of the sweep command, as well as a number of other surface features such as fill, blend, multi-section, or loft. You can also take those surfaces and unfold them. In addition to the parametric surfaces, you also have uh, building information modeling or building experience modeling uh, functionalities. New in 19X is the variable curtain wall. With this command, you can easily create repeating patterns of mullions and panels across tangent continuous faces. You can create unique patterns or share patterns within different groups or regions. You can create bands by adding input planes. You can position multiple curtain walls on the same face in order to create rain screens or multi-layered variable curtain walls. 
You can control the color and mullion sizes, transparency and materials. And also, once you've created one pattern that satisfies your design criteria for one face, you can easily duplicate that same exact pattern across multiple faces within your building. Building a space planning also includes a functionality called component-based design. And what you can do with component-based design is allow designers to link their conceptual models to more detailed templates that have been prepared by an engineering team. In this example, the spaces that the designer has modeled have been associated to object types that were modeled to include full building units with furniture. These can come from a library of prefabricated modules for an industrialized construction approach and can be nested together to include higher levels of detail, much greater than what is shown here. So when you hide the initial design spaces, you can see the, the layouts that were included in the object types that have been instantiated. In this way, the designer has taken their feature model, the space that lived inside of a 3D shape, and instantiated a PLM structure that can then be managed on the platform using our Inovia project management suite of applications. Taking it a step further, the designer can associate parametric engineering templates to spaces as well. So now we're going to associate a washroom to this volume. And with the click of a button, we'll change level of development. We'll instantiate that template into the model and create our PLM structure. You see that we have not only geometry here, but all of the components and attributes are also generated in the database and accessible through Inovia on the platform through the web and can be embedded on a dashboard. Now, if the designer needs to change the volume and the, or the shape for any reason, all of the geometry inside that template updates, including the attributes and the parameter values that are exposed in the database. This is a powerful tool to connect designers with engineering teams that model with real world manufacturing constraints or existing product lines that are used for industrialized construction techniques. In this way, you can capture knowledge and know-how and capitalize on your intellectual property that you've accumulated over years and execution of multiple projects. But that's not all. The concept of building designer also includes the building structures application. Building structures is an application that allows you to model columns and beams of both concrete and steel from a predefined set of standard catalogs. Here we're going to make concrete cast columns that are circular. Uh, the first step is to make a grid. This building grid comes from a CATIA sketch and it's propagated to the multiple stories that are found in your building. From there, you have a number of accelerators. You can pick above and below. You can pick from point to point. You can also do diagrids uh, or individual members. Once you've created those columns or beams, you can see that they are, they are uh, features within a 3D shape that can then be exploded into a PLM structure. And finally, within the concept building designer role is live rendering, an application to do photorealistic renderings. This actually isn't a rendering. This is just a screen grab of an animated camera. Those graphics are the standard default graphics from Katia. You see they're all, they're pretty good. Within concept building designer role and building space planning, you can also animate the shadows and do daylighting analysis. These are all incredibly accurate thanks to our ability to geolocate any building anywhere on the earth. So that's the concept building designer role. You see it's a very rich role with a number of very powerful applications that really set CATIA apart from the other 3D modeling solutions on the market. Now we're gonna talk about the architectural detail designer role. This role is similar to the concept building designer. It contains a number of the same applications. In addition, however, it has building engineering 3D design, which is for solid modeling. It also contains sketch tracer, sheet metal for modeling detailed sheet metal uh, panels or sheet metal products for manufacturing, as well as terrain preparation that allows users to create very large resolution, very high definition terrain models from point cloud scans and topo maps. One thing that you can do with the architectural detail designer is you can model these detailed panels. This is a five panel mega assembly that can be referenced then into a large model. This example, the building massing and conceptual panels were modeled in X generative design. And then through the use of an assembly pattern, you can replicate those thousands of panels across your building that can then be used for a bill of materials for manufacturing or life cycle with asset for asset management. Next is the 3D MEP designer. This role 
also contains a number of applications similar to the architectural detail designer, but it also has a number of electrical, mechanical, and piping applications to do uh, mechanical rooms and uh, the building systems within a building. The great thing about the 3D Experience platform is that you can include more than just geometry in your models. You see here we have a PDF outlining the specification of the each individual part inside uh, inside the platform. And then you can use uh, catalogs of components to model these detailed assemblies of mechanical rooms and piping systems. At any point you can go through and this is an example of design review showing the as-built versus the built. The building structures designer is an, a role to do detailed design of rebar, so detailed design of concrete structures and steel structures. The highlight applications that you'll find in this role is the building and civil assemblies again, building structures, concrete structures, 3D design, sketch tracer, sheet metal design, and terrain preparation. In this video you see how you can take a, a conceptual concrete model designed in building structures and detail that with the rebar application. The rebar application has a number of uh, standard bar types and sizes that are included and you have uh, very flexible patterning options to create the rebar uh, in multiple configurations. These columns then, because they're modeled in context, can be seen directly in the PLM assembly of the building and any clashes detected or issues found can be resolved within the context of the entire building. The civil engineer is a role that contains a number of applications to design linear infrastructure projects from concept to detailed design. Again, you see a number of applications that are shared across a large majority of our CATIA construction cities and territories roles. The main highlights here is the civil 3D design application, building and civil assemblies again, concrete structures 3D design, natural sketch and terrain preparation. With the civil engineering role, you can design infrastructure projects of any scale or complexity. You can geolocate a construction or infrastructure project anywhere on the earth. You can perform earthworks with the terrain application and using our new polyhedral modeler, you can do hybrid modeling between exact surfaces and hybrid meshes. You can use the template designer role to build a detailed engineering templates that can be instantiated into your model using the component-based design technology. And of course, all of this can be projected into drawings for documentation and submittal purposes. With the civil engineering role, you can do bridges, you can do tunnels, you can do railways, and you can do roadways. This example shows you how to design a tunnel using the civil engineering role and the template designer role, building custom components to do tunnel sizes. You can change the number of lanes, change the clearance, you can change the thickness of the ring structure, and you can validate that your design is going to meet the requirements. Using component-based design, you can instantiate your ring templates. These ring templates can include rebar, and then you can verify the amount of excavations required and the type of geologic rock that needs to be moved to build this tunnel. Once you've completed your, your design, you can run the experience. Here we're going to drive through the tunnel and experience the project before we move into the detailed engineering phases. Finally, the last role I'm not going to talk about today is the 3D Generative Innovator and the X Generative Design application. X Generative Design is a new computational design application that allows architects, engineers, and other designers to model uh, with lists and collections of, of objects. And its main purpose is to democratize algorithmic computational design through both an immersive, interactive user interface or a graphical scripting interface. If you want more information about the 3D Generative Innovator role or the X Generative Design application, I recommend you go and check out uh, the, web, the webinar that we did not long ago. We spend 45 minutes discussing this application. We give a detailed demonstration and we share resources on where you can learn more. With that, thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this presentation about the CATIA Construction Cities and Territories roles on the 3D Experience platform. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you.